Sliding down an icy track at up to 90 miles per hour, Taylor Morris is training for the 2014 Olympic luge team. The start that I go from, uh, we can top out 80 miles an hour, somewhat, <laughs> depending on how nice the ice is. Morris trains for up to 18 hours each week on the ice, but most of his time he spends traveling to unique destinations for his next race. I've been everywhere. Um, mainly for the circuits, we go to Germany, we go to Austria, France, Italy, Norway. Uh, this last time we went to Japan for a world championship. Morris spends eight months of the year away from his family. His father, Brian Morris, says he worries about his son. Uh, it's difficult sending off your teenage kid to Europe without a whole lot of uh, parental supervision. You know, you've got the team coaches and the team managers there keeping them uh, where they should be, but certainly it's difficult sending off your 15-year-old kid. The luge is the only sliding sport measured up to the single thousandth of a second, and the average luge run has a vertical drop of 300 feet. The U.S. luge team has earned 500 medals in senior and junior international competitions since 1994, as well as four Olympic medals. Morris hopes to add to this number in the future. That's definitely the speed. I mean, how many people go 80 miles an hour, two inches off the ice? I mean, it's just kind of unique. Megan Green, Daily News, Park City.